Welcome to Galaxy Log, a monthly video about observing galaxies that would be best seen in the upcoming month's dark window or near new moon. We will choose three galaxies for prime observation, with one each for smaller telescopes up to 5 inches, medium scopes 6 to 12, and large scopes over 12 inches. Galaxy observing can be the most challenging type of astronomical observing, but at the same time the most rewarding, which makes observing these grand islands of the universe the pinnacle of observational astronomy. As with many astronomical objects beyond our solar system, the darker the skies you observe in, the better. But you can still enjoy many galaxies from less than dark skies. In the video we will show an image of each galaxy and have its most common catalog number, constellation it resides, coordinates in right ascension and declination, magnitude, surface brightness, and size. We will discuss observing each galaxy and some tips to help you get the most from your telescope, eyepieces, sky conditions, and your eye. As with many things, galaxy observation can be subjected to each person, so what one person observes may not be seen by all. For there can be factors involved, such as quality of optics, sky conditions, and the individual eye. Galaxy observing can require some patience, skill, and yes, even practice. So let's head out to our first galaxy. Our first galaxy for this month is the brightest galaxy in Pegasus, called NGC 7331. This large, bright, inclined spiral galaxy can be seen in most telescopes in less than dark skies. With a small scope in dark skies, the bright central region stands out very well, with the rest of the galaxy faded out north to south. In my 4-inch F10 refractor, using a 20mm wide-field eyepiece, the galaxy is bright and obvious in a nice, large, starry field. The best view came using a 9mm eyepiece, where the core area of the galaxy shows is very elongated and bright. The outer regions of the galaxy, with careful observation, shows a bit more extended south of the core. The western side shows a sharp cutoff of the galaxy. Added observing note. As you can see in the image, four background galaxies known as NGC 7335, 7336, 7337, and NGC 7340. Using a larger scope will allow you to see these distant galaxies as well as more detail in NGC 7331. In my 8-inch refractor, all but NGC 7336 was seen from a decent dark site. In my 22-inch dob, all four background galaxies are easily seen. I would also like to add that not too far from NGC 7331 and Friends is Stefan's Quintet, who will visit them in a future galaxy log. Next we head to an area of the sky that is dominated by nebula of various types, beautiful star clusters, and popular double stars. Within a couple degrees of the wondrous and spectacular Veil Nebula is a galaxy called NGC 7013, which may seem out of place in the constellation Cygnus, but nevertheless is an interesting galaxy. Using my 6-inch refractor from a decent dark site, the galaxy at low power showed as an elongated smudge next to a 10th magnitude star in a rich area of the Milky Way. Using an 8mm wide field eyepiece, which gave a magnification of 124, the galaxy showed a bright large core area surrounded by a faint elongated disk going northwest to southeast. A week later, while using my 8-inch refractor from a darker site, started bringing out some detail. Pushing the power to 327 showed more detail in the core area, with a small stellar nucleus and with moments of good scene, a surrounding inner disk looking like a very faint ring, which is seen in the image. This is a hidden gem in an area where galaxies are, of course, not prominent. For our final galaxy or galaxies for this month, we head to Pegasus in the galaxy's NGC 7253 A and B. This faint edge on interacting pair can be a challenge in scopes under 16 inches from less than very dark skies. The slightly larger brighter A member shows as a faint thin line in large scopes up to 15 inches, with the fainter smaller B members a tough catch till you get into the larger scopes of 16 inches or more. It's small and has a low surface brightness requiring good dark skies. On a recent night from a fair but not great dark site, two Chessmont members, 
The 22 inch and 25 inch dobs viewed this faint but interesting pair. In the 25 inch dob, both galaxies were fairly easily seen using a 5mm eyepiece or a magnification of just over 500. NGC 7253A appears brighter than 7253B, with the galaxies intersecting at just over a 45 degree angle. During moments of good seeing, 7253B could be seen extending on both sides of the tip of 7253A. I'm sure this month in the very dark skies of West Virginia, NGC 7253A and B will be on a few more Chestmont members observing list. Well that's it for this month's Galaxy Log. Clear dark skies and happy galaxy observing. Galaxy Log is a production of Have a Stellar Birthday. We work with light, time, and people. Sponsored by 90mm Observatory. Backyard astronomy with small telescopes. Learn more at 90mm.org. Special thanks to the Chesmont Astronomical Society. Dedicated to observational astronomy for more than 25 years.